Hello everyone, welcome to our talk at New Wei Ming Law Group. I am attorney Cai and uh, this video is about fundamentals of US green card application uh, updated for 2022. Okay, so uh, at our YouTube video, we have hundreds of videos explaining US green card and visa applications. And uh, if you contact us, we can send you additional detailed information regarding the process. And this video covers some fundamentals, so you can have some basic idea and uh, you can further explore. So uh, we at New Wei Ming Law Group, our law firm is based in Washington DC metro area and was founded back in 2009. So in the past uh, 13 years, we have already helped thousands and thousands of applicants to receive their US green cards and uh, various visa approvals. So uh, as you know, well, for US green card, there are two major categories. One is family-based application, the other is employment-based application. Well, to qualify for family-based green card, you need to be like the spouse or parent or sibling or child of a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. And some of those do not need some waiting time, while other applications will require years of waiting time. And the other category is employment-based application, or EB, family-based is called FB. And uh, within that category, there are two subsets. One is uh, application sponsored by the employer. Uh, it can be called as PERM. Uh, uh, and the process involves the employer first file to the US Department of Labor. And uh, then after approval, uh, the employer will file I-140 to the USCIS, and uh, the individual can file I-485 adjustment of status to receive US green card. And the other subset is self-petitioned. Even though it's still within the employment-based category for US green card, the applicant can self-apply uh, based on his or her qualifications and uh, mainly in this category, there are uh, EB1A and uh, NIW application types. So I received my own green card through NIW or National Interest Waiver many years ago. My coworkers at New Wei Ming Law Group received their green cards through EB1A, Alien of Extraordinary Ability category, and some other co-workers in our law firm received their green cards through employer-sponsored PERM or family-based applications. So we have personal experience in this complicated process. Besides, we also have abundant experience and uh, top qualifications. You can check our website for more information. Now, talking about self-petitioned EBYA and NIW, well, what do you need? for those applications. First, well, unless you were born in China or India, usually you can get your green card relatively fast through NIW, which is easier to approve than EB1A. Even though the requirements are similar, the bar for NIW is lower. And uh, for both EB1A and NIW, let's say if you are a researcher, a scientist, a postdoc, a PhD student, or a technician, or a physician, engineer. Well, you can apply based on your own qualifications, and you need to submit documented evidence showing you have already made some accomplishments in your field. For example, copies of your publications and the citation records showing peers have noticed your work, and also uh, peer review experience for professional journals or conferences in your field. These are typically required, even though uh, for NIW, you do not have to have the peer review experience. And also you can have fewer number of publications and citations for NIW compared to EB1A. Both NIW and EB1 require the filing of I-140 petition to the USCIS. As mentioned earlier, our law firm, New Wei Ming Law Group, we have filed thousands 
of such applications and received very high rate of approvals from the USCIS for our clients. So this I-140 is the critical step for employment-based immigration for the self-petitioned categories. And uh, you can either file concurrently or after I-140 the adjustment of status application called I-485, which is mainly like a background check. And we also help our clients in this step. If you are currently outside of the US, then you can choose to go through the immigrant visa uh, pathway well, at um, the local US embassy or consulate. So, uh, well, now maybe if you are in the US, maybe you are holding like F1 or H1B or O1 or L1 or other visa types or J1 you know, or B2. And uh, most likely you can file I-140 regardless of your visa type. To file I-485, there are some additional restrictions. But generally speaking, as we know, US is the largest country of immigrants in the world. And each year, the United States issues more than 1 million new green card to new permanent residents. So well, as long as you have some accomplishments in the past or some basic qualifications, you may already meet the standard for NIW or even EB1. Well, if you want to know more about the information and the procedure on how to apply, you can send us an email at info at nwmlaw.com and we will provide a free assessment and also follow up with you. We can also send you additional information. So contact us if you are interested. Thank you.